Hi, I'm John Byrne with Poets and Quants. Welcome to your Ultimate MBA Game Plan, sponsored by Fortuna Admissions. We are going to talk today about admission interviews, about how to prepare uh, and go through the interview process successfully. We have with us Sharon Joyce. She had been former associate director of admissions at UC Berkeley's Haas School of Business and had also worked for Carnegie Mellon's Tepper School of Business in Pittsburgh. She's now a coach at Fortuna Admissions, the dream team of former gatekeepers of some of the world's best business schools. Welcome, Sharon. Thanks a lot, John. So you've had a lot of experience, and I'm sure you've uh, done a fair share of interviews over uh, your time at Haas. For sure. I think we spent so much time reviewing applications. It was great to finally meet people who you had read their stories on paper and have the opportunity to meet them in person and hopefully have those good thoughts confirmed once you had the candidate sitting in front of you. So yes, I absolutely loved it. And I love doing interview prep with our clients. I think that that's probably one of the best parts of being a coach with Fortuna to help them help our clients um, prepare and succeed for the interviews. Now, there are common formats of MBA admission interviews. Different schools do different things. Uh, And then there is also the role, how important uh, interviewing is at given business schools. What's your sense of all that? It is really important. A lot of the schools will say that it is a holistic review, right? So the interview is one part of that holistic review. I will say by merit of the fact that you've been invited to interview, the schools are confident that you can do the academic coursework. I think the interview for a lot of schools serves as a check on fit to make sure that you will be someone who will really thrive in their environment, in their you know, academic environment, their social environment, and that also you'll have success down the road when you get ready to um, do interviews for careers uh, and also for your summer internship. I also think it's important, though, too, to understand with the interviews, um, some schools, you know, HBS has the notorious kind of 30 questions almost in 30 minutes sometimes. Wharton does the the team, the, the group interview where you will be assessed alongside some of your peers who are going to possibly be your future classmates, where some schools kind of have your, your typical kind of one-on-one where you're going to meet with, like I said, someone in professional staff or an alum or a current student. And so I think it's really useful if you have uh, you know, the knowledge of these things before you get into the room or into the Zoom chat with someone so that you can um, really guide your preparation around those different, um, different types of settings. So what are your key tips for shining in an admissions interview? Well, a lot of it is about the preparation. Absolutely do not think that you can walk into an interview situation and just wing it. You know, especially questions like walk me through your resume or tell me about yourself. They do require some thoughtful preparation so that you don't fumble around and stumble around when really they're looking for something that's concise and succinct that you will be able to share within about a two to three minute framework. Now, Sharon, two of the most common questions, why the MBA and why this school? I wonder what are other common questions that a candidate could typically expect? Um, I think with behavioral based questions, I think a lot of them get at um, tell us about a time where you had to uh, lead within ambiguity. Tell us about a time where you had to work on a team where there was um, some dissent. Uh, Tell us about a time where you had to communicate across different channels. So I think that being prepared for behavioral based questions, again, having some really good stories in your back pocket. But I think when you distill them down, a lot of them come down to how do you communicate? Um, What have you learned about your communication style? Um, Mm -hmm. What have you learned about your leadership style and your teamwork abilities? And then how will that also be applicable in your MBA studies? I I wonder what your lessons are from uh, the many mock interviews you've done with candidates to help them prepare. I think that sometimes because most of our clients have applied to multiple schools, um, that they feel like they kind of know it because they've been talking about it for so long that they don't feel that they have to prepare as deeply as they do. I think also being sure that they really can demonstrate 
why a particular program. So knowing about some of the really interesting pieces of the curriculum that you would have at Duke versus maybe at Kellogg and being able to speak to that as well. And then I think also, you know, in terms of the why an MBA, I think a lot of that you need to be able to show like, these are some great things that I've done in my career thus far, but I've definitely hit a ceiling. And so I know that I need to get X and Y under my belt so that I can be successful in my next phase, which is pursuing and then obviously having a good answer to your short-term goals as well as what is the bigger picture in terms of how do you see yourself leveraging your MBA not just in the immediacy after graduation but really for the for the rest of your career lifespan. All right let's recap the three essential strategies for a successful admissions interview briefly. I would say making sure that you are prepared to really demonstrate that you've done your homework, that you've done your due diligence. And I would also say making sure that you're really clear on why that program would be a great fit for you and will help you achieve your goals, but also what are you going to give back to that program as well in terms of thinking about leadership opportunities and things like that. Terrific. Now, Sharon, how can candidates reach you? I would love if anyone reach out to us through fortunaadmissions.com. And we do have um, opportunities for people to have free consultations with us to to figure out not only if we are the right company for you, but also um, having opportunities to speak with a number of coaches to make sure that you find a coach with whom you have a great fit. You know, gosh, we're with you uh, through the ups and downs of the application process, but we absolutely want to make it as stress-free as possible and really partner with our um, with our clients to make sure that we do right by them and that they're successful in attaining their MBA goal. Sharon, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, John. It was a pleasure. All right. You've been watching Sharon Joyce of Fortuna Admissions give you the lowdown on all the things you need to know to prepare for a successful admissions interview. This is all part of our series, your Ultimate MBA Game Plan, sponsored by Fortuna Admissions. This is John Byrne with Poets and Quants. Thanks for watching. <music> <laughs>